Okay, the one thing we all want to do is go fast, not slow. So I'm going to fix that today with how do we get around a corner fast with one of the fastest corners in the world, GF and Gs. Great to see you back on a bike. Thank you, mate. Nice to be here. How are you feeling? Good. And fit. it's nice to be riding again. I'm fit, I'm strong, ready for action. Great. Well, I've got a challenge for you, right? We're going to look at some turns and see how G does it. But G, first, before we start, right, just give us like some simple basics. Try and put your mind back to when you first started. What do we need to think about as we're going into a corner? Very basics. Obviously, your braking point, so control that speed yeah. before you're coming into the turn. Got it. Once you're in the turn, looking through the turn, so your eyes are looking round your head, and your body will follow that. Yeah. And then dropping a the foot into the turn gets your body weight down, gets weight onto the outside of the bike, allows you to lead the bike over, and that will keep the speed through. Okay, right. So there's some really simple basics. Three really good points, okay? So we're going to remember those, but now we're going to go and look at all the different corners, because here's a, we're here at Whistler, we've got everything we could need, and we're going to see how G does it. You ready, dude? I'm ready. Let's have it. So maybe you aren't familiar with Whistler, British Columbia, but in terms of a riding spot to play with corners, this is a pretty epic option. This bike park has become something of a mecca of MTB because of so many famous trails that have been sculpted out of the mountain. It's a spectacular place and I can't wait to see this footage of G. After a picturesque gondola ride to the top of the mountain, we cruised trails, just stopping at corners where G saw an inviting piece of trail that suited our aims. Talking of G Atherton, well, who is he? Quite simply, G is one of the greatest downhill riders of all time. His family name is legend in the sport. He's won two world titles, many World Cup races, and pioneered riding lines that only a handful of riders could ever even consider. This guy can do it all, and aboard his Atherton AM200M.1 downhill rig, we have all we need to master corners. The berm. Berms are great because they have tons of outer support, so G really comes into this one with speed and confidence. At this point, he's already scrubbed away any speed he needs to. The breaking part of the story is already over. He's only concentrating on line and grip from here on in. G stays high in this corner where the natural line has tons of grip and support. Note how his feet are working with the grip. This is quite a long berm, so his pedals seem relatively level. But he is pushing that weight to the outside pedal, which will help him apply grip and bite to the ground through those tyres. Look at his line of sight. It's way down the trail. His body is in the corner, but his mind is maybe 10 metres ahead. The chicane. Fast flowing corners that lead one way, then break back the other. Clearly he has the entry speed dialed in, long before the corner itself. G isn't breaking from here on. The first berm, he builds speed, but I love this point where he transitions from right to left. You can see that emphasis on the outside pedal switch, and also at the same moment, the line of sight track ahead of the rider and bike. Look how far ahead G is reading the trail. He rides through the right-hander, left foot low, then that swap over. Left-hander, right foot low. And then that swap again as he heads into another right. Beautiful. The loose corner. The loose corner is a great one for us to learn from G. Let's contrast. Regular rider, G Atherton. Regular rider, and G again. This is a loose corner that most of us would ponder through, hanging on the brakes and staying upright. At G's pace, he's coming in so hot. And at this grip level and at this speed, G's three basic rules come sharply into focus and very much in the moment. The speed is scrubbed away in the turn this time. The inside foot is now stabilising and placing all of G's weight on that outside foot. The line of sight is also much shorter, only a few feet ahead. But what is he looking for? I asked G afterwards and he said, in a loose corner like that, he's searching for the safe point where he has support and grip and he aims for it. In this example of a loose corner, we can see G correcting the entry speed all the way in until that very last moment where he gets off the brakes and commits himself to the corner, all his weight on that outside foot. Two very different loose corners, same three basics. 
high speed corner. Before we do anything, let's just listen to this. Wow! Yeah, on a long fast corner like this, we're seeing G come in at an abnormally quick pace. This is how most of us would approach this particular corner. Yeah. G, on the other hand, has committed to grip and line choice and the world be damned. The basics are all there, of course, but my attention is focused on how relaxed G is in this high consequence, high speed, very loose corner. His fingers are literally bouncing around on the levers, cornering obstacles. This isn't your average corner, but it is a lovely feature on the mountain, so G wanted to play with it like it was a corner. Similar to what happened on the loose corner, G is now looking only feet ahead. He's kind of zoomed in again. This isn't a corner where G can use the standard low outside foot either. The sheer angle has put him at a much more level pedal position. The force has unweighted him at the top so much that G's riding it almost like a hip jump. Braking is happening right at the last moment, actually on the rock on the way up. But as soon as his direction changes from upwards to cornering, he's off the brakes. I love how loose G is on the bike here too, letting that amazing bike do all the work as he stays actually quite still considering the terrain. Then the Shroud. G has hunted down a corner where he can adjust to a slightly straighter line through the corner, cutting directly across the berm, then dropping the bike into a hard push of a turn at the last minute. All of G's weight is quickly on that outside foot, forcing weight and grip down into the ground. On this lovely surface, G gets just what we want too, a lovely burst of dust as the ground gives way. Just look at the tyres grabbing that ground, biting down into the trail. A super fun turn to play with and it sounds great. So there we have it, I think it's safe to say, G, you can corner. Thank you mate. Nice. There was a lot to learn there, but remember those three points were so important. Um, but let us know in the comments down below, has that improved your cornering? It definitely gave me some inspiration. We've got to get G down the bottom of the hill now because he's hungry and we've tired you out, haven't we? Yeah, please. Come on, get let's follow time. these guys, get down the hill. And while we're doing that, you give us a love and a like and a share, uh, hit the bell, all those things. Uh, and we'll see you next time.